Thank you. Thank you for that. Let me tell you a story. And this is a story that I wish I could tell you that I made up just for dramatic impact. I wish I could tell you this was a combination of situations to make up a story. I wish I could tell you that stuff like this just simply doesn't happen. But I want to tell you this story because it's a true story. We placed a young woman in a new job, and she showed up for work as directed. First day on the job, filled with promise, full of hope. She showed up with a small box of personal belongings to make her workspace feel like her own. Because this was a professional job, an administrative job, not an entry-level job. She showed up 10 minutes early to make a great first impression, ready to hit the ground running, wanted to be at her desk, landed, in place, ready to go at the opening bell, so to speak. When she arrived at the front desk and asked for her new boss, she was given this blank look and told, that person is in a meeting this morning and I have no idea why you're here. Told her to have a seat in the lobby while they worked on that. After some time passed by, a supervisor from another area happened by and offered to her an empty desk in the corner of the room where she could sit until they got things sorted out. At that point, this young woman made a decision to not accept that offer. Picked up her small box and went home to start a new job search. A little more jaded and certainly a little more cynical. We as humans are in a constant state of change. We move from one chapter of life to the next, usually not anxious about the long routine or the move, we're anxious about the first five minutes. We go from preschool to elementary school, anxious about being accepted and being connected, expressed by a five-year-old as, I hope somebody likes me. We go from elementary school to middle school, not sure if we can find our locker or our first class. We go from middle school to high school, full of five-minute anxieties. Are they still going to recognize me after the long summer? Is there a cool kid table? Is there an area where I shouldn't go? Are my glasses, my hair, my style, my clothes, is all of that acceptable? We go to our first job interview, anxious to connect with and make a good first impression with the interviewer. We go to a new church, desperate for a quick and deep new connection. Or like the young woman in our story, we go to a new job. And it's those first five minutes at a new job that have lasting implications for that person, for the company, for a career, for profitability, for retention, even for quality of life at home. Seriously, those first five minutes at a new job just have huge implications. So my idea here this morning is to connect in those first five minutes. Connect well. Connect on a professional level. Connect on a personal level. Connect on a human level. That newbie is a person who wants to succeed, wants to do well, wants to contribute, wants to connect, wants to be accepted and to be acceptable. Think about how connecting well in those first five minutes could seal the deal for a lengthy career. Could help avoid a multi-thousand dollar turnover. Could cement a lifelong loyalty. That connection point is a nearly costless investment with potentially priced payback. Hear that again. That connection point is a nearly costless investment with potentially priceless paybacks. Be ready for them. Be there to greet them. Call them by name. Alleviate those first five minute jitters and anxieties. Give them a reason to want to continue this relationship. Set up your building and the entrance for success. What does it look like as they approach? Are the lights on? Are the windows clean? Is the welcome mat out? As your new employee approaches your plant, whether that's a plant entrance or an office entrance, are they starting to feel less, less anxious and more at ease? Are they proud of the decision they made to join you? Or are they beginning to have second thoughts and doubts about the decision that they made based on what they see? At such a vulnerable moment, a person's brain is only focused on navigating the here and now, what they see in front of them, and they're making seven judgments every 11 seconds simply on what they see in front of them. Upon reaching the front door, the clock really starts. Those first five minutes can set the tone for the first hour, the first day, the first week. Blow that first impression, 
and they might just leave, leaving you to start your search over again. To do this well takes a full team effort. Bring every level of your organization into this first five minute connection. Give that new person a first day parking place to park. Put their name up on the welcome screen in your front lobby. Have the highest office in the building that day go meet them at the door and greet them by name. The CEO, the president, vice president, plant manager, supervisor, whoever is there and whatever makes sense. This is not an HR function. This is not where the HR person meets them at the door and brings them to their first meeting. This needs to be a full company function. Air to doing too much. What is it really going to cost you if the plant manager, the VP of operations, meets them at the door and greets them by name? So what if four or five people show up to extend a hand of friendship and a word of welcome? Seemingly overwhelming? Man, I certainly hope so. If at that moment your new employee realizes that you are not only expecting them, but know them by name, the rest of the experience is going to be flavored by that first great impression. Remember this, they've already spent their first impression at the job interview. This is your chance to impress upon them how excited you are to have them join the team. An interesting thing to think about is somebody within your organization made the decision to hire this person onto the team. And I don't think for a minute that they believed that that could be jeopardized by a missed first five minute connection. Validate that hiring decision by giving that new employee a great first five minutes. Think about this too from your point of view, especially if you're an executive in the company who has never had this kind of first five minute connection. Think about how meeting someone at such a vulnerable moment could enrich your day or your life. Think about how making that connection at this moment could give a shared experience that both, both of you will long remember. At that moment of connection, that person becomes more than just a human resource. They become human. And you become more than just that person up in the front corner office. And isn't that what connecting is really all about? Think back to the opening story, how crushed that young woman was. She quickly and fully understood the one-way street she had just entered. And I know, I get it. We can be busy. There could be lots of reasons for that misconnection that morning, right? A moment of forgetfulness, a scheduling error, an emergency should have, could have come up. But can you think of anything more important right at that moment than for the whole company to know that they were about to grow by one person that day? Somebody could have been there to make that connection. Somebody could have been there to extend a moment of humanity. Somebody could have been there to launch her long new career. Sometime within this new employee's career, you are going to make the ask. You're going to ask them to connect with you as a company. You're going to ask them to join in a shared vision or a shared goal. Somewhere within their career, you're going to ask that employee to be one with you as a company. If you want a great foundation on which to make that ask, give them a first great five minutes. Let me tell you a story. It could be a true story. It could be a true story. This could be your true story. A young woman shows up at a very busy office her first day on the job and she's greeted at the door met by the owner of the company. The owner of that company takes her to her new workstation. At that new workstation, they have to move aside the welcoming gift basket in order to set down her box of belongings. The owner of the company takes her station by station throughout the company to be introduced to and greeted by the rest of the team. There's a general air of excitement throughout the entire organization because everybody knows they're about to grow by one person that day. And on that note, a new job begins, powered by a first great five minutes. Thank you. <laughs>